Hello everyone, it's Oscar again. Did you know that we can set up a database in our IQR modular PLC? If you need to store some production data in your application or some recipes, or you want to make some data accessible for external systems, building database is a perfect solution for that. And today I will show you the basic functions that can be performed on IQR PLC. We will start with DB import to import database from text file. Then with DB open, we will access this database in our project. Then we will read some records there using DB select and then add new record with DB insert. This is the example database that we will use in a graphic form. And here is the same database as a text file. So let's start by creating such text file on our SD card. Okay, so first let's open our SD card and create there a folder database. And inside we have to create the text file also database. Here we can put our table in a text version and save it. It's important to save it with coding Unicode 16. Now let's activate our database function on IQR PLC. First we create new project for IQR PLC and then in new project we look for parameter our CPU module parameter and here we can find application settings. Here we look for database access setting. We choose to use database. Uh, the default login and password are our CPU, so we just click apply. The first thing we will do uh, will be the import database from file. So we will be creating the database. To do this, we use db import function block. First of all, we need to specify the file path here. So address for SD card in IQR PLC uh, is starting with two, and then we can see uh, our folder database and our TXT file. So below I created also the small logic to catch the information from M10 register that is uh, connected to function block, which informed me that uh, the operation is completed. The next M register, so M11 in this case, uh, is the register that indicates error if such occurs. So let's activate our function block. So we see that the database creation is completed and we don't have any errors here. Now let's open our database. To do this we use db open function block. It works quite similar to previous one, uh, but in this case we have also additional argument which is database identification number. So please activate this block and after short time, we can see that operation is finished successfully. Now, finally, let's read some value from our database. We will look for the value under ID uh, number 8 in our database, so we expect this value to be equal 5. Uh, to do this, I will use db select function block. The first operand here is db identification number from previous db open uh, function block. Second, second argument uh, is name of the table in database. And the third and fourth inputs are d600 and d700 registers. And we have to keep in mind that uh, additional registers based on these two addresses will be also used in our function block so we have to assign them the proper values. You can see a description of all of them here, so I'm not gonna explain them one by one. Uh, you can also find the more detailed uh, information in e-manual or documentation. 
but it's worth here to mention that with addresses D601, 704 and 738, we are indicating that we are looking for the value from quantity column from the record with parameter ID equal 8. So result of this search will be stored in array called data. And after operation is completed, I can see in this table that we found one record uh, that is meeting my criteria and the value of this is 5. So as expected. Now let's add some new record to database. We will use db insert function block for that. And as you can see, I will be trying to insert a record with ID 16 and quantity value 5. So let's activate the function. And after a while, we can see that operation is completed successfully. Now let's access our database from some external device. In this case, this will be my PC and I will be using the Microsoft Access for that. Uh, but first, we have to install the database driver on my PC. To get the driver, please open the Mitsubishi website, open download section and search for database driver. And here we can find Melsec IQR database access driver. So let's download this and install on our PC. After driver is installed, please enter the path Windows and System32 and search for ODBCAD32. Open this and here we click Add button, choose Melzek IQR database driver and here let's call our source as RCPU. Server will be IP address of our PLC. A database is our path on SD card. And login and password are RCPU. Now when we open Microsoft Access, we can add the new external data source. So we choose option ODBC data source. And here I choose the second option to create the linked uh, table from our data. Uh, and here in the second tab, I choose RCPU as a data source. Login is RCPU, password RCPU, and we can see uh, our product info table. So let's choose it. And now we are connected to our database. Please notice that we can see here all the values, including the last record uh, with ID 16 that we added from our code. We can of course change the data from here, so it's a very simple way to modify the database that is stored on our IQR uh, PLC using our PC. As you can see, with building database we can easily store data in our machine and also share it with other systems. Databases are stored in SD card and there's no limitation on the number of databases or records. They can be created up to the capacity of the SD card. So I bet you can imagine how powerful this feature can be. So yeah, I think this will be all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.